Hey guys, it's Dan here from Your Guitar Academy and thanks again to the guys from Guitar Control for having me back. And I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about Jimmy Page today. Uh, we've of course got our full Jimmy Page player study over on the website, but I just wanna give you a little brief overview, a few ideas about the tone and how to kind of get some of the sounds, but also give you a really cool Jimmy Page style lick and, and kind of what makes it Jimmy Page. So first up, here's what we're gonna be playing. Right, so let's break this down. This is of course over a kind of slow minor blues since I've been loving you style thing, right? So that is namely this kind of like. That kind of vibe, right? Um, and I just wanna talk really briefly about the tone first, kind of where I'm coming from with this Jimmy Page style. Now, I love the idea, and I believe this is something that he does, of having quite a well cranked amp. So I just wanna show you where I'm at. If I take everything to, 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 um, to 10, I've got a really a nice overdrive pedal using the X drive down here, and I'm going into the Kemper amp. And I've got this, uh, you know. Now, just to quickly, you know, without much overdrive, I just spotted a little bit that was out of tune, just that A string, I think it was, there we go. Um, let's just get that up into tune there. So that's where I'm at at 10, right? And what I love about Jimmy Page is he quite often just has that set, okay? There's not too much pedal action going on. So instead, I'm just gonna go and turn the, I'm, I'm using the uh, bridge pickup here, and I'm gonna turn it up to just like one. Okay, so this is where I'm at. <laughs> I'm just trying to be as twitchy as I possibly can to get my Jimmy Page style in there. Um, but yeah, this is, the, the idea here is I've actually got so much headroom. There's so much, like if I suddenly hit that, and of course, build it up with the volume swell, wow, there's so much to go there. But Jimmy Page is the master at having that there, but playing like this. Can you hear that behind every note? Yes, it's quiet, it's soft, but there's also a menacing like, whoa. If I start hitting that harder with the plectrum, something's gonna happen. That's the kind of vibe that I love. And that's what I'm gonna try and show you guys how to do here. So, so that's the kind of way I would approach this. And just another general tip as well with Jimmy Page. Of course, we're using our minor pentatonics, we're using our minor scale, our, our kind of normal, um, natural minor, so in this case in the key of C, C natural minor scale. Uh, but he's very twitchy, he's a very twitchy player. So rather than just like, let's say he did this, this kind of lick. You know, bluesy thing. His would be more like this kind of. And combine that with the dynamics. you get a lot of that kind of sound. So it's, it's a lot of kind of like under the radar, lots of twitchiness, always wanting to play something and dynamically shifting it up. Man, I love it. I absolutely love it. One of my biggest all time influences and that's come across in my playing a lot. Um, so let's just get to this particular lick. So it sounds like this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> The ending of it we can we can do whatever we like with, but the core of it is what I'm trying to get to here. So, first of all, what I'm doing is I'm starting in pentatonic box two, okay? And I'm gonna be working up to the top of box three. So you can see how that's box two and that's box three in the key of C minor, okay? Now, for the, for the kind of record here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on just a nice little C minor kind of thing, so. So, first lick. Now, when I first heard Jimmy Page do a lick like this, it was like, is that delay or is that someone playing the guitar? Because it kind of sounds like delay, right? 
because there's so much like, kind of goes down so much, but it's not delay. In fact, Jimmy Page doesn't seem to use much delay at all, ever. Uh, so in that case, it's all just in the fingers. So all I'm doing is I'm gonna kind of building up to it. And then I've got this nice stretch here between three and two, pentatonic box three and pentatonic box two, right? So I've got this stretch and I'm going. So it seems so simple. If you just played it like a piano, but of course it's all in the dynamic. So we got. So we got those big notes. Notice how as we're going through that lick, some notes are jumping out, others are coming right down. It's that shift of dynamic and accents. Okay, so nice and slowly. Then we move into this. Okay, so again, coming back, using that, pen, that box two, but now using a full scale, a full C minor scale. Okay, so I'm literally hammering on first, and again, I'm keeping it really soft here. Okay, so again, nice and slowly, 10, 11, 10, 13, 11. And then I'm gonna do this really cool twitchy thing, just following down the box one of the C minor scale. So I'm gonna go like this. Okay. And I just love it, still dynamically, it's so subtle. And it, notice how it, timing wise, it's not just, it's not like an indie track, this is like, you can mix it up. I would never in a million years play this twice. The same, exactly the same. Even recording this was a challenge because I had to play the same a few times. But I, I wouldn't, I just wouldn't because it's, it's very slightly different every single time. I might hold on to one note just a little bit longer or dynamically do one note completely different one time. So it's all about your interpretation. It's, it's the core thing is understanding how he plays this so that you can do it. So if I, if I played the whole lick like this. Then you can end the lick by going down through box. You can go back up. Or maybe you want to end it like this. Ready? <laughs> Not very Jimmy Page, but whatever you want to do. So th there we have it. You've got this really cool lick and, and the core part of it. Yes, we're using a C minor scale, C minor pentatonic. Um, and yes, we are in this kind of 6-8 kind of slow blues kind of vibe, which gives us so much room to push and pull. And that's what we're doing here. We're, we're using dynamics. We're using an amp cranked up, but only playing it at level one on the guitar to make this kind of what's going to happen next kind of sound. And we're working with that and kind of just you know, navigating through the scales whilst you do that. So there's so much that goes on here. And, and I go through it in great, great detail in our Jimmy Page play us study the full thing, yourguitaracademy.com, because there is so much to break down. Obviously, you need to know those scales, so we go, we go through those scales. You need to kind, of, to kind of do a whole solo or two in the Jimmy Page style so that you start to understand what this fidgety, fidgety thing means that I'm talking about, but hopefully this has really kind of opened your eyes a little bit as to how you might start to play like Jimmy Page, the kind of gear you might want, um, the kind of setup, as well as the scales and just the general idea. So that's it for me, guys, and I'll see you next time.